Well, today on Gearbox, I'm looking at this little critter, which is the G1 beam fixture from SGM. Now, SGM is renowned for doing things a little bit differently, and this is certainly no exception. For starters, it's wireless. Uh, this fixture has a battery base, which allows it to operate for seven to eight hours under in intensive use conditions, or typically longer under normal operating conditions. Um, so you don't actually need to supply power to it locally. Uh, there is a true one power con connection on the battery base and you can use that to power the fixture and also to charge the battery base. It supports wireless DMX. Uh, however, you do have the option to plug an XLR in and cable your DMX control. Uh, control is 12 channels, which seems pretty basic. And at the end of the day, it is kind of basic in what it does, but what it does, it does in its own unique style. Uh, it's 62,000 lux output at three meters and the native beam angle is 2.8 degrees, although you've got an option to reduce that uh, using the internal gobos. There are 19 gobos and 14 colors, uh, plus open on both those uh, sets of wheels, and you've got things like gobo shake and split colors options, um, motorized focus, uh, and a native color temperature of 6,500 Kelvin. Now, all of that is pretty awesome. Um, but probably the thing that really distinguishes this fixture for me is it's IP65 rated, which means that you can deploy this outdoors and it doesn't matter if the rain is coming in sideways, the fixture will just keep working. Um, the True One PowerCon connector is also IP rated when it's mated. Uh, for when it's not, there's a little rubber cover that goes over that. The menu system is very simple. It's OLED driven menu, up, down, enter. Those are the buttons on the side of the yoke. As soon as you press one of those buttons, the yoke stops moving. So you can navigate the menu more easily. I've got this running in test mode at the moment. Um, and I think that at this point, it's time to go out to the CX garage of truth and determine if it deserves its IP65 rating. Let's go. So here we are once again in the CX Garage of Truth with the SGM G1 beam and our rainstorm. Doesn't really seem to be too bothered by the water, which is pretty much what I'd expect. I think uh, the biggest problem you're going to have with the G1 beam is stopping people from taking it off your site without asking permission. There you go.